A Correspondent Candid with 60 Minutes, Bob Simon. What were you thinking watching him work? Oh, I was thinking, what a, this guy is just brilliant, is what I was thinking. My story this week is about an art forger, acknowledged to be the most brilliant, talented art forger of our time. He worked for 40 years forging, he says, more than 100 different artists. And eventually he got busted and did time in a German jail. Now, are you telling me that when you found out that your painting, your forgery, was on the cover of a Christie's catalog, you didn't have a laugh? Yeah, I, 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 toujours. Always. Always, yeah, always. <laughs> I was laughing, always. Until you yeah, got caught. Yeah. Then the laughter stopped when you went into prison. Yeah. How did he use historical research to pull this off? The first thing you had to be very careful of is that nothing he used in, in a forgery, the paint, the canvas, everything, was available at the time that the painter would have painted it. And then he would do a lot of research. And say if he were doing a landscape somewhere in Belgium, he would go there and get it right. If he was forging the work of a left-handed painter, he would do it with his left hand. Is that the way Ernst would have done it? Yeah. Flat like that? He has done it exactly, exactly like that. He was doing an Ernst when we got there. And he said that Ernst painted his stuff in three days, so he was painting this forgery in three days. And he wouldn't paint, he wouldn't forge any artist he didn't like. What's more important for you, to forge a painter you like or to forge a painter who's going to get you the most money? No, the money was never the question. He said the painting was easy. What was hard was really getting himself into the head of the artist. Because remember, he wasn't copying. He was painting what he thought the painter might have painted. If he'd had the time, if he felt like it, if he hadn't died when he did. Do you ever think of what it would have been like if you could have spoken to Max Ernst? Yeah, sometimes when I was painting, you know, I have had really an impression they're looking over my shoulder, you know. And what are they saying? Yeah, Max Ernst was a little bit angry, I think. He was not so... <laughs> it's almost as if he was sort of having conversations with these ghosts behind him. What he was doing was a very, very complicated business mentally. He was really an actor. He was a brilliant actor in that he could impersonate an artist and then do the painting. Do you feel like you are inhabiting the artist? Yeah, that's, a, that's a, the best you can, you can reach, huh? reach is to feel like the artist. And he pulled it off fooling the world's top art connoisseurs, experts, galleries, museums. Let's be perfectly clear about this. Yeah. You made it into the masterpieces of the 20th century. That's my painting, yeah. And the book is the masterpieces yeah. of the 20th century. Yeah, 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 sure, yeah. 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 You must be very proud yeah. of that. Yeah, it's a nice painting. Did you get the sense that Beltraki has any guilt about what he did? Not a shred. Guilt? No. Did you ever think that you were doing something wrong? Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, sure. I know it was wrong. I'm not stupid, huh? But, but did it make you feel bad? No. 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 It was business, you know. He didn't send anyone to a soup kitchen. He didn't foreclose anyone's mortgage. These were very rich people who were buying these multi-million dollar works of art, either as investments for the most part, or as status symbols. The art market has gone completely berserk. The prices are insane. Beltrachi was a, was a superb con man, and the people he was conning uh, 
Scott Kahn. <laughs> but some say that he committed a crime against our, our cultural heritage. You know, we don't know what's real and what's fake anymore. Do you buy that argument? What difference does it make? I mean, the forgeries he made, I would love to have them hanging in my apartment. 